solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of my God and my country. I will honor my parents, my teachers, my leaders and my elders, and those in authority. I will be clean and honest in all my thoughts, my words and my deeds. I will strive in everything that I do to work together with my fellow men of every creed and race for the greater happiness of all and the honor and glory of my country. Let us pray. Praise be to your mighty God, creator of the universe and all that is in it. We thank you, O Father, for the opportunity which you have given us to increase our knowledge. May your divine grace enable us to study hard and use what we learn for the good of our fellow citizens. We pray that you free us from selfishness, lust, greed, anger, and hatred. Warm our hearts with love, fill our minds with understanding, and strengthen our words in the face of all difficulties. Help us, O Father, to make our beloved country of Trinidad and Tobago the kind of place you want it to be, the place where human dignity is respected, where equal rights are accorded to all citizens, where hard work is encouraged and rewarded, and where you, O God, reign supreme. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Today, you are being treated to a different view of our compound. This is quite literally the view from the hill. I want you to know that our school is a very special place. Our staff and students are both dedicated to maintaining our small sanctuary here on this planet. We seek to obey the divine creator's will for humans when he had first placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. We are told in the book of Genesis in the Bible that God gave Adam and Eve, or humankind, dominion over the whole earth. You can find this in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. And later on in the same book in chapter 2 and verse 15, it is further explained that God placed man in the Garden of Eden to cultivate it and to keep it. In other words, we were placed here to care for everything on this planet. Many years later, King David wrote Psalm 8 about our Heavenly Father's handiwork in creating both the heavens and the earth. Bear with me as I read from Psalms 8 verses 3 to 9. Here we go. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with honor and glory. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish in the sea that pass through the parts of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. In listening to this scripture and hearing about what was said in Genesis, we get a sense of God's intentions when he gave humans the earth to live in. We were meant to care for it, to care for the land and the water bodies and all the variety of life that can be found in them. To look after all the plants and animals he gave us dominion over. All these things enrich our world, add to the beauty and fulfillment of our lives. They provide us with food and water, places to dwell in, and even supply us with medicine. We are called by God to be good stewards or caretakers of his world. So everything that we must do must be done with that divine purpose in mind. So, in light of this, you should know that your school, Hillview College, also works to provide for the needs and upkeep of our own environment here. I'm speaking to you today 
from one such prime example of this. Many of the trees that you will see have been planted by the hands of your very own fellow students and members of staff. This planting exercise began much earlier than 2018, but 2018 was the culmination of this exercise. That year marked the 200th anniversary of the National Herbarium of Trinidad and Tobago. And in honor of that, we planted 200 trees the first day up on these terraces behind me. During the year, more trees were added so that now we have close to over 500 trees planted on these hills. So, Hillview College has a history of braving forest fires. This corridor that was planted in 2018 was done so in the aim of reducing the risk of fire spreading to the school. It is important to note that all of the species planted here were all endemic to Trinidad, meaning found nowhere else and therefore would not be an invasive species to this area and this particular mountain range. During the last year before the pandemic hit and schools were closed, Form 1 Geography began their project of encouraging best practices for environmental sustainability. For that year, the Form 1 students diligently took care of the plants around me. They planted different seasonings and flowering plants to help pollinating insects that are going extinct, including honeybees and butterflies. Their teachers encouraged them to find unique items to repurpose into planters. This taught the students about new ways in which they could follow the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. This area was a part of a grander plan for the Ohilvy College ecosystem. Maybe when schools reopen fully, you too can participate in bringing that plan to fruition. You are looking at one of our most recent projects. These are the sinks from the old lab building that were going to be destroyed. Two of your school clubs, the Hillview Biological Organization, HBO, and the Hillview Environmental Action League, HEAL, worked together to convert this space into an herb and seasoning garden, repurposing the sinks you see as planters. Flowers were also planted in between to attract pollinators. For about one year, these two clubs worked together to upkeep this area, to water the plants here, and daily to water the young saplings on the hill. Now, as schools were closed, our groundsman Charlie has kept our greenery going. Our school clubs are dedicated to showing the world that Hillview College is dedicated to being good environmental stewards, raising funds for animal shelters, doing beach and river cleanups, doing turtle educational projects, and assisting the wider community whenever we go out to donate items to flood victims and the like. I am proud of our school. We definitely live by the motto, Humani Nihil Alienum. As I leave you, I want you to think of ways in which you can contribute to college life, to be a part of the good work we do here. I also encourage you to join your school clubs and see what Hillview College is all about. Thank you, and remember to walk in the love of God everywhere you go. Show it to everyone you meet and to all the animals and plants around you as good stewards of the environment.